Uh oh, Sylviana got knocked on her can. Barking like somebody's here or something. One second. I gotta see what's going on. I'll be back. Okay, it was nothing. Nobody's there. False alarm. Nobody's there. It is begun. Pain mail, Viridium. Or whatever it's called. Nice. Anything else get dropped? Ooh, pile of bones. Find a mushroom there, maybe. What mail? Steel. Oh dear, you know how black trees work. Yeah, yeah. Indention on the surface of this altar in which something might be placed. Uh huh. Do we chance it? Do we risk it? Throw the artifact to other party member. This appears to be a phylactery of some kind. The essence of a mage kept magically preserved. If that were all it is, however, I would be surprised. <laughs> Elf magic. Is that blood in there? Whose, I wonder? You think it will be all dried up after so long? There must be magic involved. Hmm. Touch the gem. The gem is warm to the touch. And your mind immediately begins swimming with visions, images, and memories of life, not your own. The presence in the gem is first alarmed when it senses your touch. 
recoils in fear, and the images that rush your mind are one of imprisonment and loneliness. Who are you? What are you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. The presence calms and then is racked with indecision. Rather than have you leave, it begs you to stay. More images flash through your mind. Time that the presence has spent trapped within the life gem. Time that the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. The presence has no name it can remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage, a glittering silver armor. But this was long ago, remembered as if through a fog. What is this place? What happened here? Images that come are slow, as the presence must think back to the time it barely recalls at all. See a place of serenity where the eldest come slumber and are visited by those who offer tribute to the gods on their behalf. Presence's memories of what happened there are uncertain. There are flashes of violence and war, but it was all too long ago. None of it is clear. How did you end up in this gem? You see images of great battle, elves and humans both screaming and attempting to flee in some terrible presence, from some terrible presence. What that presence was is blurry and lost to time. The presence fled the destruction by using the life gem, escaping its body. It was sure that someone would come to rescue it, but no one did. Not until now. Were you once a mage? You see an image again of the elf in silver armor who is a mage and warrior both. The name for the order he belongs to translates in your mind to arcane warrior. Presence can remember a little. The images of an order of elven mages who channel their spells into their strength, fighting as arcane warriors to defend, defend their charge. The presence could give you what knowledge remains within of how to become an arcane warrior. You are no maid yourself, but you could teach such knowledge to those who are. This is all the presence has left to offer in hunger last of its memories in return the presence asks only for one thing from you oblivion how could I give you the release you see could you teach me to become an arcane The images that come are faint and uncertain. You see a stone altar, the life gem placed upon the altar. Then the gem vibrates and explodes, destroying the presence within forever. The yearning that follows this image is keen and almost open. Yes, I'll help you. Approach the altar with the gem. The images that are sent to your mind, you pick a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? The presence is ready to teach you. Yes, give me your memory. Memories flood your mind, they are hazy and incomplete. But enough that any for any mage to gather a few of the talents that the arcane warriors once possessed.
place the artifact on the stone altar. Alistair approves. Plus two. Specialization unlocked. Arcane warrior. So now. If we were to level up when she could specialize with an arcane warrior. Ooh, she slew the greater shade. That's right. Ogre, still her strongest. Aldred, Revenant. Nice. Also now, since I, oh, oh, I must have bumped the table with my coffee on it. Also, uh, next time I go to play this game, if I make a mage, I can uh, specialize as an arcane oh. warrior for free. All right, I gotta let the other little guy in. They keep barking at me. Don't go away. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, like I was saying, if uh, when I'm done with this playthrough, if I decided to make a mage, I can specialize as an arcane warrior before I come to the Dales. I don't have to unlock it again. Already unlocked. Right. Uh, right, this way. But of course! More bad guy. Alistair leveled up. Okay for Alistair. Anyone else to shoot at? Oh, good. Round. Dalish boots reinforced. Nice. Broken crate. It is begun. Quartz. All right, let's level up Alistair. He's going up to level 13 now. Already a Templar. Zerker Reaver Champion. That'll be nice to level that up. What does he need? Mm, yeah, that'll help. Oh, he can get Mental Fortress now. Large 